got my Bravo, new Bravo throttle quadrant set up. Um, there's a couple things I want to point out that might frustrate some of you as soon as you get it and you're expecting to use it right away in MSFS. Um, not so much with throttle number two, and I'll get into that in just a moment and how to fix that. Uh, and, and a big thanks to uh, RMAG for that fix. Um, notice out on Bravo or on Honeycomb site, they even, even give a call out to him. So I want to make sure I give him credit. Um, on YouTube, you can see he's got a fix for it, but I'll show it as, here as well. Um, but great piece of hardware. A few things I want to point out that I was like, oh, am I missing a connector or something? If I take these off, you'll notice that the one on the left has two connectors. The one on the three has three pins, and there's, there's various connectors. Well, at first I thought, well, am I missing a connector? Whoops, I got these, back, I got these backwards. Notice the one with the um, go-around switch, you want on the far left. Um, but in any case, I was kind of concerned at first. I was like, oh, it did one of the metal connectors. Uh, am I missing one? But I went back and looked at Honeycomb's video, and I had to pause it just in the right spots and saw that it was the same from the demo as well. So don't be alarmed by that. That seems to be normal. Um, you know, so it does, it, it's, it has the same dimensions as you probably have seen on the website as the others. I have to say I'm really impressed. I was a little concerned at first that these levers might be too small. They're not once they're mounted. Um, that's all great. You have these little rubberized sleeves um, that you pull off of there. I wish there was like a box. They did such a good job in putting a box with the levers that they go in, um, but not a big deal. I'll just find a box for those to put to set aside. I, I've got to give credit to Honeycomb. They've, as they did with their Alpha, they, they could be charging people. In my opinion, they could be charging at least double for these devices, but they aren't doing that. They're giving us quality products at a reasonable and affordable price so we all can enjoy them. You know, you don't have to have several thousand dollars to invest in a throttle quadrant. You know, many are out there. Or for the flight yoke, and like the TPR, I do love the Thrustmaster pedals. But I mean, even those pedals are $500, uh, $550 if I remember what, what, what I paid for them. I have to suspect that uh, Honeycomb's going to come out with really good quality pedals. Again, I love my Thrustmaster pedals, but, you know, they, they're, they're charging probably what they should be charging. They are all um, aluminum and metal, so that's great. But in, in any case, good quality products. The shipping material is top-notch. I mean, second to none. I have been so impressed with how Honeycomb is, is packaging this stuff, protecting it, and sending it to us. Nothing bothers me more than... I get a new piece of hardware, and you know, once you get it from the shipping, whether it's from FedEx, USPS, UPS, um, Amazon, sometimes the packaging is all smashed, and sometimes the product inside is uh, smashed. Honeycomb prevents this. They don't ship directly in just the packaging for the, the device. They actually put it in another box. So the outside box can take the damage. The inside box stays intact. And I have to say, they... they I, I am super impressed with them. Anyway, back to the throttle quadrant. So that's one thing to notice about the, I wanted to point out on those connectors. Don't worry when you go to put on your your uh, your, your throttle lever or your mixture handle or your, um, your prop lever. Those have different connectors by design, I think. So don't worry that you're missing, you know, they're not all connectors. Okay, so on to the next thing. The thing that's, that drove me nuts at first until, again... Um, checking out RMAG's um, fix on YouTube was the fact when I got in to Flight Simulator, this right throttle, as you can see, it's moving up and down. It didn't at first. Matter of fact, if you go into controls and you go to Bravo Throttle Quadrant and you go to Power Management, sorry, so Bravo Throttle Quadrant, Power Management, and then under Throttle, what was happening till I used RMAG's fix was I'd move this second and it wouldn't do anything. It would just stick there, you know. And so it's a bug in, in Microsoft. They'll probably fix it, but he has a fix. I'll put a link to his video below. I'm not going to go through it because he already shows how to fix it. He deserves the credit. He deserves the views and the thumbs up. Please do thumbs them up. And um, yeah, I think he's got 1,200 subscribers. I'm going to subscribe. But uh, But anyway, I wanted to show that. But uh, great, haul, great quality hardware. Um, this has got the brackets just like the Alpha Flight Controls. All solid metal, heavy duty metal. Um, it's just, just a quality product. Again, um, I love it. You can see that everything's mapped out here. 
um, for the different controls. I think Microsoft, for the most part, other than the Throttle 2 so far that I've noticed, I haven't set everything up completely, um, but it looks like the button assignments are good. Um, you know, if I hit heading here, let's see if, if this will show. If we go to search by input, if I hit the heading, let's see if it goes. So yeah, auto heading hold. Let's do nav. Oop, we got to click this. Search by endpoint. Endpoint. Search by input, excuse me. Uh, and then I hit uh, nav. Let's see if it goes there. Yep. And so it looks like um, they did a good job. I haven't gone through all the buttons. But as you can see, I mean, this is fantastic. We've got your heading button, this all autopilot. You got your altitude, your vertical speed, your heading, your course. Um, and then on the bottom there, indicated airspeed for heading there. I don't know if that's kind of blurry. Your gear indicator. Um, and then you've got your heading, nav, uh, approach, reverse, course, altitude, vertical speed, and indicated airspeed, and a knob that you can adjust this up and down. Um, and then on the right, you know, auto engage the master autopilot, the flaps, these, these levers are, I mean, they feel quality. I mean, they do not feel like cheap plastic. Like I came from, as, as I showed in another video, uh, SciTech, um, and those were okay, but th there's, there's, there's just no, th there's no comparison. And then you have a, a tension screw so you can, you can make these levers either more tense or less tense. And, um, by the way, buddy of mine uh, 3D printed um, some of these controls that I had on the SciTech, and I put them together. I ordered some hardware there, and then but I had to put because I didn't have any um, tension on the axis. I had to put these little rubber things to keep it so when the the throttle was like half towards the bo bottom half of rotation, they would just fall all the way down. No. Leave it to Honeycomb and the engineers there. They've thought it all through. They fixed that. They gave us a way to tension it to our liking. I just can't say enough about these guys. I am so impressed with their products. Um, again, I'll, I'll keep the TPR um, pedals. Those are full-size pedals. I'm interested to see what Honeycomb has, um, but I can't imagine it's going to be any less uh, amazing. Uh, these, these guys deserve, uh, guys, gals, they, they just deserve all the credit in the world, um, you know, that have put these products together. They're thinking about us. They're flight sim enthusiasts themselves. Um, I highly recommend it if you can get it. Again, don't buy. I mean, you do what you want, but I would highly advise not buying somebody that bought a bunch of these up and they're trying to make a profit. As a matter of fact, uh, Honeycomb made it right. I remember many of us went to buy pre-order and like within like just seconds, they were all sold out for week for the entire uh, pre-order. So what Honeycomb did is they went back in, um, to my knowledge, they, uh, I don't know if they redistributed or they just had a, they did another product run and um, they did four weeks and they made it available to anyone that tried to pre-order um, or they reopened it. I can't remember exactly how they did it, but they did it right, they made it right. Um, and you know, you'll get one. Just, if you can be patient here, I'm saying be patient, I've got one, right? But. I ordered this back in, what was it, September, I think, if I remember right. Maybe it was, maybe, yeah, I think it was September. Um, but in any case, don't pay, don't pay the scalpers. Don't pay them for these products. It just, it just encourages it. Um, you'll get one, you know, just keep your eyes open, and they'll become available, just like their Alpha um, flight control. So anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll uh, come back, probably post another video after I get this all completely set up and tested out. Um, do a few flights, maybe run them through with you, but I uh, just wanted to make sure to point out, I'll put a comment in the bottom and a link to, uh, our mags, um, post on how to fix throttle two for Microsoft flight simulator. Uh, again, don't panic. I kind of got a little nervous at first thinking that maybe I had a defective unit. No, it was just a bug in Microsoft. So, um, you know, just be aware of that and uh, thumbs up if you like this video, uh, appreciate it. Subscribe if you would too, but, uh, not necessary. Just hope this helps you. Thanks.